Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, live on the scene here in uh, Bertha. Again, just a little quick video update for you. Not a whole lot of uh, changes really. I've just still been working on a little interior demo as, as time allows. And uh, I think I posted before about my barn being built, uh, the Bertha barn as we call it. Finally, all the materials delivered for it, so it should go up in a couple weeks. And after that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be uh, kind of get down time once once I've got somewhere to put all this crap and, and roll this thing in for the quickly approaching fall and winter. And hopefully, I can start digging into it and and going. So anyway, just a quick little update. I want to kind of just show you around and what's happening. Um, as you can see, it all pretty much looks the same. I did discover that I have a leak. We had a bunch of rain yesterday uh, around this vent pipe. There's water dripping off the 90 and then down the wall in between two seams there is water coming out. So it's either coming from the bathroom vent fan or here. My guess is here considering it was on the 90, but hell you just never know with water. Uh, so I'm going to take a hard look at the, at the stink pipe vent for the kitchen area. The vent bathroom vent fan, which I, I plan to put a new one in that's 12 volt powered, uh, and then also the one above here. So um, I knew I had a leak. That just helps me understand exactly where it was coming from. So um, somewhat encouraging if that's all there is. And then around some windows, I think we'll be in really really good shape. Uh, I got the old furnace out, so that was kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, was able to. It had just a lot of rust build up and things like that that was uh, hindering my progress on getting it out of there. But finally, finally was able to get her out as you can see, so that's good. Uh, I'll take all that metal to the scrap yard and maybe get enough to buy a case of beer or something if I'm lucky. Uh, that's really about it. Took some outlets off and the cover for the 12 volt panel, which I'm going to replace all that. As you guys can see, that's pretty gnarly and rusted in there and stuff, so I'm gonna, I'll be buying a new one to purchase there. Unless I can find a cool company that's willing to sponsor me. That would always be awesome. So, uh, we're gonna send a proposal out to AM Solar and see uh, if they're willing to work with us on this deal and put some solar on it, considering uh, that's what we're all about. So, uh, the Bertha Barn stuff, as you can see, I'll kind of walk you back. There you go, there's the pile of material. My barn will be going up in a couple weeks, hopefully. Got a nice sunset there to the west here in Indiana. Uh, like I said, the fields of gold falls quickly approaching on us. So I wanna get this things indoors and uh, you know, out of the weather and start really doing some, some tear out. If anybody's got any idea on this door handle here, the main entry door handle, Kind of show you. Here it is from the inside. You know, it works as you would assume, up or down. But when I pull it down, as you can see, the mechanism locks in. So I don't know if that's by design. Maybe it is by design, so it always stays open. Uh, anyway, I lock my myself out. Um, when you pull this handle, it works just fine, as you can see. All right, that plunger goes in and out, no problem. But um, I had to climb through the window twice this weekend. Ended up, I uh, posted on air forums about it. Didn't hear anything from anybody yet, which is all good. But so I decided, hey, I got a little bit of time to kill tonight. I, I ended up tearing it apart and spraying it down with WD-40. And it all seems to be working uh, a little smoother and easier and all that. So maybe it was just gummed up. So uh, we hope that's all it is. Some more exterior issues somebody has any knowledge on I've got a nice crack here in the aluminum as you can see I don't know if you can weld that I, I know that people do weld aluminum um, or maybe put a plate a little piece of aluminum plate on there uh, and then caulk around it real good you know maybe that's an option somebody has an idea on that that would be pretty awesome to share that knowledge with me please and then lastly just doing a little walk around here real quick on the exterior somebody is hit something with this guy as you can see that battle wound there I'm not too overly concerned with that it didn't puncture the metal uh, so no leaks would happen um, I'm gonna call a, 
a paintless dent guy and see what he can do to it, if, if anything. Well, my main concern is down here, these exposed outriggers. I've got two that are showing. Uh, pretty gnarly dent here, as you can see. Uh, so there's obviously, you know, some, some work that's going to have to be done there. And I don't know anything about pulling off this uh, banana wrap and and all that. So uh, any help there would be appreciated as well. So update on the Bertha. We are, what are we at here? August 26th. Moving along, but it's a slow moving ball. So until the next time, take it easy. Adios.